So the next report that I'll show you is going to be the DVIR's reports. I'll hover over the DVIR tab and click on Inspection Reports. For this report, you can view this report based on a number of items. You can um, search for the DVIR number itself. You can search between specific dates and you can use the calendar to mark those dates. You can select if you want to view only trailers or vehicles or all of your assets. And then you can select if you want to view all of your defects. So I do want to see all of my reports and any defects that they have. So I'm going to select all three of these tabs and I'll click on view. You'll see that the report is run here at the bottom. You have the DVIR number listed when it was created, the asset type and the ID. And then this column is where it's going to show your defects. You'll have the yellow icons that will indicate that there was a normal priority defect. You'll have the red icons to indicate that there was a high priority defect. And the green will indicate no defect at all. Underneath the repairs column, you will see that there are little wrenches to indicate any repairs made. If it is green, it'll let you know that the repair was made or if it's gray, it'll let you know that it was marked as a repair not necessary. To view details within these DVIR lists, you can click on the DVIR number in this section here, and it will open up to give you those details. So it'll let you know um, what, the, what the DVIR number is, it'll let you know who created it and who repaired it, and then you'll be able to add any additional notes as well. Any changes that you make, you'll click on Save right up here.